Hello everyone, in this video I will be giving you a basic introduction to MySQL or some like to say MySQL. So let's get started. So keeping it simple, MySQL is one of the most popular database systems and depending on the type of script you are coding, you may have the need to store a collection of data in a location and you may want to have the ability to create, update or delete data from that location. So say for an example, you were creating a digital phone book that housed your personal contacts and you wanted to be able to add new contacts, delete contacts and update existing contacts. This will be a great situation where you may consider using a database to store that information. So MySQL databases contain tables and within a table there may be records or in other words rows and similar to an Excel spreadsheet or Word document for example you may have a table called phone book and within the table you may have three columns that say first name, last name and phone number. And you may also have two records or again rows that contain two of your personal contacts. So the example shown in the video again contains a table that has two records, our personal contacts and three columns, first name, last name and phone number. So hopefully now you understand how data is stored inside a MySQL database, but if not, you will start to catch on once we start creating our own MySQL databases in the next tutorial. So moving on, let's get into what is called queries. A query is simply a request or a question. In MySQL, we can request from a database or in other words, query a database for specific information and have a record set return. So for example, if I wanted to display all my personal contacts within our table called phone book, I may use the following query. This query would return all the phone numbers from the table called phone book and display the following record set. Now we will get more into queries in the following tutorials, but the main concept here that you should understand is what a query is and what it does. Again, a query allows us to request or grab information from a database and perform different operations with the data inside our table or tables. So hopefully now you have a basic understanding about what MySQL databases are and why they are useful. So that does conclude this tutorial, so be sure to take the online quiz at thephpbasics.com, and I will see you in the next video.